the race thing is so dominating, and it shouldn't be. You know, um, you say I, I was watching the uh, clip. I certainly didn't watch the whole show, but I was watching a clip of the View the other day, <laughs> and here's Joey Behar running her mouth with, you know, she's w- literally one of the dumbest people alive. Oh, yes. It's it's almost impossible to have a lower IQ than Joe be- Joy Behar. <laughs> but she comes up with this point that she thinks is this huge slam dunk. In which she says, you know, uh, you know, you, the only way you're going to ever see uh, any gun laws change in this country is if black people start owning guns. Then you'll see these laws change. And I don't know who she's talking to. I know, as a person who defends the Second Amendment, I'm thrilled when black people take advantage of that right. It's their constitutional right. It has nothing to do with skin color. Great. Go out and buy weapons and defend yourself. And she thinks that this, this you know, home run argument, it, it's a creepy world. I don't even know what world they live in. Oh, everybody applause too. This yeah, crazy applause right after she said it. And so I took that moment to try to figure out what the black gun ownership is in America. 24% of black people own guns. Mm. It's only 36% of white people. Mm. So there's not this massive difference. And this was as of 2018, Pew Research Center. In 2020, there was a 58% uptick because of the BLM riots. Black people wow. around America were like, this is crazy, and the police aren't going to step in and help me. And this is happening only in these inner city crazy neighborhoods where they're burning down Portland and Chicago and all Baltimore where all these riots happen. So the black people went out and they got their guns, as they should. Mm-hmm. And guys like me and you know this, and we've been applauding. And Joy Behar, who yeah. doesn't know what a gun looks like, <laughs> is like, you just wait till the black people get it. And then these these conservative white racists, they're going to take the guns away. We're uh, like, mm, nah. No, no, not at all. Congratulations. Um, I, I notice over and over again, it's the... The usually uh, wealthy, elite media white people who come in here and tell everybody else what they should and should not be able to do. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like there, there's this constant, you know, the white splaining thing is kind of a joke, <laughs> but it's like it really does happen from the media. The media tells black people they're not going to be able to get driver's license because they can't have voter ID. Mm. They shouldn't be able to own firearms to protect themselves, that white people are the ones keeping them down. I mean, I know talking to Jason, that's the app. That's not a, it's not an empowering argument. He's made this point many, many times. That's taking the power away from the african American. It's the exact opposite. Oh, that's exactly right. And the problem with particularly white Democrats, and Mm -hmm. I I would say this is men, but also white women, um, Mm -hmm. they don't own guns. Only 16% of Democrats own guns. 41% of Republicans own guns. Mm. Okay, but Joy Behar just hires somebody that owns a gun. Yeah. (laughs) So she's got plenty of money, and she's like, you don't need a gun. I mean, my security guard needs a gun, but you definitely don't need one. Look, I don't have a gun. I would never dare do that. And you're like, okay, so just understand, we... The, the average man, what, our biggest issue, I think, in, in politics and our political discourse is that we have no idea anything about history. We teach history so poorly in this country, it's unbelievable. So the average person doesn't understand that in the 20th century alone, 100 million people were slaughtered by communist countries. And so Joy is like, you don't need your guns. What for? What are you afraid of? Yeah. Pansy. Yeah. And you're like, if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.